Uno, dos, tres. Welcome, hello. Um, my name is Bryn Goforth, and um, we're in sweet, sweet Bali in the midst of the rice fields here and just bathing in the majesty of this place. I have this project, this dream, this vision, and it's called Earth Warriors. This purpose that has ignited my passions and my passions being um, connection to the natural world and inspiring people to be connected to this earth into the worlds of the indigenous. And I've done this from all over the world, from the jungles in Papua to the jungles and the mountains of Colombia to Guatemala to Mexico to North America. And since I've started this journey, it's just spiraled into this beautiful creation and, and also self-transformation. It's my gift and it's my passion that I feel that I have to share with the world. And so far it's turned into this film, it's turned into, it's turning into a book and it's all just flowing from the way that I've received the teachings from, from the indigenous cultures all over the world. The place that's calling me is deep in the jungles. And, and so I go, I go trekking and I go bushwhacking and I go into these places and in, in search of something that's different. And the first journey that I went on was in Papua, which is the West Papua, is the easternmost island in Indonesia to find this indigenous tribal culture that was there. And, you know, there was points in this jungle where I was, we were bushwhacking through and it was hard and it was tough, but I was just so fully alive. The moment was, um, the hardest moment for me was when I was leaving the jungle and after I had spent this deep, profound, inner awakened journey discovering the wild woman that was within and these, this culture helped me find her in this jungle. The moment that changed everything for me was the moment that I stepped foot on the, on the boat to leave and to go back into the modern world and back into this life that we that we live here and I just started weeping I just started crying because I knew that I belonged in there I knew I belonged in that jungle and with those people living um, so connected to the earth living by listening to the sounds of, of nature by by you know eating the, the food and preparing the food straight from the earth, that to me was where I belonged. And um, when I stepped foot on, on that boat and I was leaving and I knew I was heading back, I had my teaching job and I had my house and all these things all set up, I just started weeping. And um, that's when it hit me when I knew that there's, some, there's this gem that they have to offer inside of these jungles and, and in the woods and these people of the earth um, where I know that a part of me lives and, and that's the hardest part for me is knowing that I am the bridge between those two worlds and I don't fully belong in that indigenous jungle realm and I don't fully belong here in this modern realm and so there's some task for me to, to bring the two intelligences together. The purpose behind it is uh, a dedication and my dedication to bringing that harmonious balance between humans and nature. And the way that it's coming out in all of its different forms is people that I've come across in my path who are focused and in alignment with their purpose and their devotion to the earth, to um, this, this idea of oneness, to this, this ultimate connection that we have. And, and it, it's coming from indigenous cultures, it's coming from people of the modern world who are super inspired. The first group that I filmed was the Papuan people, um, and they are the teachers of simplicity. Um, and they are the people who had little, but they were just on fire in their souls and this passion. Um, also filming here in Bali with the Balinese people, and their connection to the spirit realm and their devotion to, um, to the divine.